just progressing, um, but you, you know, still in, in the in rehab um, and, and not, has not done any football movement practicing wise. So we still got some time, but we'll do what's in his best interest. What did you think of uh, Tyson going to Tennessee? Um, really uh, proud of what Tyson's accomplished here, helping us win a, win a Rose Bowl uh, as as well as a Pac-12 championship, and wish nothing uh, wish nothing but the best. Uh, really appreciate the job that he did while he was here, Scott. That he was, I mean, did you expect he might get a job offer after the season? Um, you know, I, I think we have some. I think we have some of the best coaches in the country, and um, uh, it does not surprise me uh, to see our coaches uh, get job offers and uh, to be able to be whether it's coordinators or head coaching opportunities um, from uh, from across the country. Uh, we have great coaches, and those things come up. And uh, I'm proud for him and thankful for him for the job he's done. Does someone take his? Responsibilities for the bullpen. Yeah, that Brian happen? Ellis is taking those over right now. T indicated that next year he liked being the receiver's coach. So would that mean would you maybe be the quarterback coach? Are you guys going to still have vacancy? Uh, whenever we make a new addition, Adam, I'll, I'll let y'all know. For right now, um, you know, T is coaching wide receivers. We're staying status quo. Brian Ellis will take over the quarterbacks. We're, we're going to do our best to compete and try to win this football game. And then after the game, we'll make the next step forward uh, with uh, additional hires. Um, we've got obviously two to make, um, you know, with, with that and the tenth coach coming up uh, in January. So when those additions come about, I'll let you know. If he's someone that you're considering though for that role, uh, for T for quarterbacks. When we make no additions, I'll let you know. That. How will the play calling change, or, or will it not change for the uh, contract? Um, you know. Uh, T makes the calls. Uh, you know, I'll always throw out a suggestion or two. Um, and, you know, if it's a particular shot, um, but you know, T does a tremendous job. I mean, he's produced a, a top 15 offense, uh, an offense that you know has a basically 1,500, 1500 yard rusher, almost a 4,000 yard passer, and almost a thousand yard uh, receiver. Um, it's one of the better offenses in the country. He's done a wonderful job, and he'll continue to do that. When. Uh when did you and Sam start talking about this? Yeah, you know, Scott, the, the evaluations go up to the 15th uh, is the is the deadline for the NFL. They collect them all, and then they give us the information back. Uh, I'm waiting on that, uh, as well as um, talking to several uh, NFL personnel, scouts, general managers, to provide the best information not only for not only for Sam but for several uh, of our juniors. This is a really, really good junior class. Um, and you know, there's, and we've identified, I'm not gonna go into names, but there's as many as 10 kids that uh, are, are really talented and have, uh, and have decisions to make. So I'm trying to provide them and their families as much information as possible. In the past, you mentioned, I remember with like school training, someone like that, mm -hmm. where knowing that he would get drafted fairly high, maybe not in the top 10 or anything, mm -hmm. but you would say, hey, look, if you gotta go, I'm fully supportive of it. Yeah. Is it any different with quarterbacks, though, in terms of experience? I, I, I think every situation is different, Adam. I, I think e each and every one, even going through last year with the Dory and Juju and, and, and seeing that and going through that experience, you know, there's, there's times that, you know, you have to do it for personal reasons uh, and move on for personal reasons, maybe to help your family. Um, maybe you're ready. Maybe you feel it's your time to move on. Um, and what I try to do is to say where I think they are right now, what they can accomplish here at USC if they stay, um, and also what's the reality? Where are you in the NFL, and, and is it time to go move on and be ready to perform at that level? Um, and then let them make their choice. And at the end of the day, whether they stay or go, uh, I'm going to hug their neck, and if they go, I'm going to be so thankful for the time that I had with them and what they were able to accomplish while they were here. At this point, are you guys doing any review from the, the Pac-12 title game, or is it more team planning stuff going into the bowl game? No, we actually we actually watched the tape yesterday and actually uh, practiced yesterday. So, you know, we we came in Monday, we treated it like a typical Monday, kind of like we did for the Rose Bowl last year. This is a typical work week. Uh, you know, one of the things that's happened to us is we've had this extra week of the Pac-12 championship, and last week was final. So, we're really preparing this week like we're playing on Saturday. Um, We'll have a, a great opportunity to review 
both first and second down, third down and red zone next Monday and Tuesday. And then we're going to give the kids a little bit of a break because we leave on the 23rd to be able to go home and have a couple of days to celebrate Christmas with their families and then get on a plane and, and go to Dallas and have another week of practice there in prep. How much hitting will you actually do? Because I know for the Wisconsin one, you didn't do quite as much hitting. Yep. Yeah, we, you saw today we were in full pads, a good physical practice today. Um, we'll, we'll treat um, this week like we're playing Saturday, so we'll be in, in uh, shells tomorrow. Um, we'll start backing down Thursday and Friday. Then next Monday and Tuesday will not be a typical Monday, Tuesday for us. They will be two physical practices before we before we go back and, uh, and take a little bit of break for Christmas. Coach, what are some keys that you're trying to get the players to emphasize on beating this Ohio State team? Um, I, I think one of the things when I look um, offensively is just having the ability to stop this running game, and it's and it's a three-headed monster. And you know, you've got a quarterback that's the second-leading rusher on the team with over 700 yards. So that dual.